So I feel pretty comfortable sharing this next thing with you, but you know, it just, it's my... Hi, and it's me, Brienne, and today I'm gonna to be sharing my favorites with you. My very first favorite is something that has taken over my life. It is my favorite book of the moment. It is this, and tell me you have not seen this. It is The Magic of Tidying Up. It is by Marie Kondo, and also known as the KonMari method of straightening up your life and your house and simplifying things. I've basically gone through my entire bottom level getting rid of everything. I just have simple now and it is great. Everything has a spot and I'm just going to tell you the one thing that has stuck with me more than anything in the whole white book, the whole white book, <laughs> and that is does this item bring me joy? So everything that you have, you have to love it. If you don't love it, it's gone. Huh? I know it's crazy. We've been together for a while now, no? I realize that we are actually on our fifth year of vlogging, which is just crazy. Honestly, it's insane. So I feel like we've shared a lot of things. Like I have shared my pregnancies with you and my births with you and poop stories and you name it, you've seen it. So I feel pretty comfortable sharing this next thing with you, but you know, it just, it's my underwear, okay? It is this. These are made in form briefs and they're actually available right now at Costco. Um, there is three in a pack. I got size medium, which is the smallest you can go. And it is for, it says it's for eight to 10, but let me tell you, like I'm probably an eight. I wear mostly eight and I can wear some 10 stuff. These are tight. That's the point. They are high. They're not the sexiest things I've ever worn, I will say, but that's not the point. The point is, is they hold in, I've had three kids. Okay. So it is what it is. Right. And there's this like baby tummy, I call it, which is great. I know it hosted, you know, life or where actually do a great job of slimming that and keeping everything held together. I have white and cream, well, like the nude color, um, and blue, which I wish that they were all in black, but that's just me. They come up a little bit higher. If you're not a person that likes, um, your panties <laughs> to come up higher, then these might not be for you, but that's where my problem area is. And so that's why. So yeah, go check these out. I think that they were $10 for three, which is a super good deal. My new favorite Pandora stations at the moment is 90s pop radio. <laughs> it's amazing. If you grew up in the 90s, you're gonna love this channel. There's some that are like, okay, I gotta skip that, that one sucks, or oh, that one. But you will be there and you'll be like, oh my gosh, 1997. My next favorite is an app slash website. There is an app, I'm not in love with the app, and that is The Moth. And what it is, is storytelling. It's ordinary people sometimes, and sometimes they're, you know, heads of state or something like amazing, but everybody has a story. That's kind of the point. And I am obsessed, obsessed with these stories. And I will go on my walks, and I will walk forever because I want to get to the end of the story. And I'll be walking and I'll laugh, or I'll be walking and I cry, and there's just, it will, it's, it's really fun. Okay, themoth.org. And when you go up here, go to stories at the top, a page like this, pushing it, listen, and you will just be so caught up. It's partly like on my bucket list now is to one day go to a moth event and tell a story because I just think that sounds so fun. All right. You guys know if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time that I'm a big weirdo, <laughs> like weird. This is a little bit different on a favorites video, but this is my new favorite. This is turmeric. Some people might call it turmeric, but um, in my part of the world, it's turmeric. And it looks like this, it's almost gone, so I think you'll be able to see it pretty well. It's an orange color. And mark my words on this, folks, watch it. This is gonna be the new in thing, I know it is. I read an article a few months ago talking about how turmeric helps with um, inflammation and inflammation has been linked to depression. I struggle with depression as many of you know and this is helping me. I've been adding this to my smoothies in the morning that I can use for beauty and around the house and is my new addiction. It is baking soda. I know it's crazy. I can't believe that I've never like heard of this stuff before. I bought this giant enormous bag at Costco and I've been using the heck out of this stuff. I use it from everything from doing dishes to doing laundry to cleaning up stains to brushing my teeth. Um, the first time I did brush my teeth with this, I used a little bit too much so you have to be careful but basically I just keep a little jar of this by my bathroom sink. I wet my toothbrush just a little bit. I dip it into the baking soda 
and it brushes your teeth, it neutralizes any kind of odors that you might have, bad breath wise, which now I don't have a problem with. And um, it just leaves your teeth feeling so clean. This is an amazing product. And I'm also kind of obsessed with these mason jars. I have them all over my house now, and um, which I know is kind of like Pinterest trendy, but eh. I am slightly behind the times when it comes to Lush. I went there for the first time in June, and let me show you what it looks like inside. The um, Lush, if you don't have one, is basically like a beauty store that doesn't use like chemicals or animal testing or anything like that. Like everything is natural and safe to use. This is, oh gosh, I don't even know. It reminds me of my shower. I put it on um, right at the very end of my shower. I'll rub it all over my face. And then when I get out, I get a washcloth and I wipe it off and it gets everything off. It's amazing. And it leaves this like kind of glow on your skin and I love it. And you should go get some. Okay, the next product that is really similar to like the baking soda, like it's been around for forever and I should probably have been using it all along, but I didn't and I wasn't and that's baby oil. Now, I will say this, back, oh no, 1995, 96, I'm at home, I'm watching Montel Williams and they have this whole episode on things that can kill your children that are around the house and I still can't get that out of my mind. So I just want to go ahead and like PSA for you guys, like baby oil is extremely dangerous. I learned this on Montel, so therefore it's true. This, um, if your baby ingests baby oil, there's nothing doctors can do. It goes and it coats other organs. <laughs> like I'm just telling you what I heard. And um, there's like nothing they can do. So it's super dangerous. So keep it away from little ones. Keep it up, keep it locked up for sure. Um, even though it says baby, it is not for them. I use this to take off my eye makeup, but also, this is my newest thing, I use it to shave my legs. It is so, I, why, why, what, what have I never heard of this? Um, I use it to shave my legs, it gets them extremely smooth, extremely soft, smells good, because baby oil smells good, it's a little slippery, so be careful when you're in your shower, because I pour it into my hand, I rub it on, and then like the ground does get a little bit swishy. So be careful, use with caution. That's why camera battery died, so I had to switch camera. So if it looks different, that's why. Finally, the product that I am obsessed with is this. It is a candle, and you're like, wow, I've seen those before. That's nothing exciting. I should look this up ahead of time. Um, MagicFairyCandles.com. I think this one was $25, but here is why I like it. So this is, um, this is the, by the way, Fresh Kitchen with a little spoon. This is not it, but it looks really similar to this. I don't think this is it. And I think mine got lost. <laughs> like right away, I have three kids. So um, that's why we can't have nice things. So if you are ready to use it, you know how you get the oil in the bottom of your candle or the wax? Okay, you blow it out and then you get the wax on your spoon and you pour it on your skin. And I know what you're thinking, oh, hot wax. Well, guess what? This is really hard to do with, okay. <laughs> okay, so anyways, it's only one degree hotter than your skin, so it's no big deal. And I know you can't smell this, oh my gosh. It smells so good. It's like lemon, kind of like a lotion, but that if you just want something different, that would make a great gift. It's just something different and weird and cool, and I just leave it in my living room, and when people come over, I'm, I light the candle, it puts off this beautiful smell, and then at the end, I get a spoon, and I start to pour wax on them, and they get scared, and it's hilarious. So, there you go. Okay. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching my favorites video, and um, don't forget to find me, at High Noon Vlog. That's also my Twitter and my Instagram and all of that, so if you wanna find me there, that is where I will be. All right, High Noon, I'll see you later.